have a good day. LA Beast here, and all that I plan on doing here today for the holiday season is to take these monstrosity looking Thanksgiving holiday candy corns, which not only smell like hoot, look like hoot, probably also taste like because they are now six months expired as I was supposed to do this on Thanksgiving of last year, using my own brand of molecular gastronomy, I plan on transforming these bland, novelty Thanksgiving candy corns uh, into tricking my mind as if I'm eating a full Thanksgiving Day dinner extravaganza. Why? Well, because you know what? As of this time, I've spent way too much money on candy corn that I have no choice but to make this video here today. Now, in a nutshell, this is me in a nutshell. The process of me going about this video having no idea what the heck I was doing trying to visually transform stale candy corn into something that looked desirable went exactly like this. Uh, and it was a very long, arduous, and difficult process all for this 25 minute Thanksgiving video. Now the first step in this long process of having no idea what I was doing was to open all 12 bags of Brock's Thanksgiving turkey candy corn now, and separating them into each individual flavor. And if it weren't for Gail bashing Bauer Cooper's online review, now I'd have no idea which flavor was which as some of them actually look identical to one another. Uh, so pretty much for a few hours, uh, I sat there and separated all the candy corn, as you see right here, on to step two, which was the melting process. And having to deal with the melting process made me want to punch a hole through the microwave as nothing went my way. Now, a few Halloweens ago, I made a ginormous candy corn, and all that I did was actually put the candy corn in a bowl, uh, hovering over some boiling water, and it actually melted down pretty well. So I started off using that method and it did not work whatsoever. I tried putting the candy corns in a plastic bag and then dunking it into the boiling hot water uh, to where that kind of worked, but eventually I found out the trick and I took my ginormous coffee mug, put the candy corn in, uh, and then every 37 seconds for probably two or three times, uh, it allowed me to actually just crush the candy corn, it melted, and it allowed me to move on to the following process, which was molding. Now what I had to do to actually transform these candy corns was go online and find different plastic molds that represented each flavor. For example, for the turkey, I bought a mold that looks like a drumstick. And for some of the flavors, such as the apple pie, I actually bought a mold uh, to actually make it look like an apple. And the process of actually taking the melted candy corn and getting it into the molds uh, was very difficult uh, as like it actually solidifies very fast after it's melted. So I had to keep on melting it down and like little by little, uh, it took me a long time to fill each mold up. Yeah, so, so, so pretty much after five straight days of candy corn hell, I present to you, ladies and gentlemen, my my candy corn plate of Thanksgiving dinner. And pretty much because I know Jack Squeet about molecular gastronomy and or just candy and melting it down, what I've actually done is create a plate of candy corn uh, that's pretty much uh, if I tried to bite into this, it'd be as if I was trying to bite into a rock. So doing further research, I learned in order to soften candy, all you have to do uh, is put it in the oven on 350 for about one or two minutes uh, and everything should soften back up. On tonight's Thanksgiving Day dinner menu, we have a very sophisticated roast turkey. We have stuffing two ways, a la corn on the cob and carrots. I've created a cylinder of cranberry sauce as if I had just dumped it out of a can. And because I couldn't actually find a string bean mold, I decided to turn them into a special Thanksgiving Day leaf, which brings you good luck. I cleverly decided to take the apple pie candy corn and turn them into a red and green apple. And for dessert, I melted melted down pumpkin pie jelly beans into a pie slice and utilized the coffee candy corn as a nice crumble crust and to cleanse my palate to finish off this meal, I have taken some eggnog jelly beans and turned them into the shape of an egg again using my own brand of molecular gastronomy. Oven is on, I'm about to cook the roast turkey first. Right now, uh, as I smell my Thanksgiving Day dinner plate, uh, no smell really whatsoever. Minor hint of plastic. Fresh out of the oven are these roast turkey uh, drumsticks that we have. I have a circa 
November 6, 2017 Crystal Pepsi. Uh, and this is going to help me cleanse my palate on this special Thanksgiving dinner. So uh, without further ado, ladies and gentlemen, before this solidifies, happy Thanksgiving. Oh boy. Uh, any, okay, you know what? I'm just gonna have to eat this with my hands. Happy Thanksgiving. That uh, This is a Brock's Thanksgiving candy corn roast turkey transformed into a chicken bone. Cheers. Hmm. Wow. The, the initial uh, taste flavor hit that I get in my mouth. It's as if somebody farted in my mouth. Um, whoa. It, de it definitely, uh, this is what it tastes like. At the end of every single day, my wife comes home uh, with her coffee, which is in an airtight mug. Um, when I do the dishes at the end of the day, I dump the coffee into the sink. This tastes like um, one day old coffee in an airtight mug dumped out at the end of the day. Hmm. All right, I'm getting a hint of a plastic bag. You know, like when, when you get sent packages, packages to your house, they could use the peanuts, not, or they actually use like uh, puffed up airbags. That's what the, I'm getting a hint of that. Hmm. Let me take one more bite here. Uh, amazing, you know what? This does look like a drumstick that I'm eating here. Now the back looks like straight up candy corn. Ugh. You know what? I would say overall in conclusion, uh, the Brock's Thanksgiving turkey, it kind of tastes like uh, a refrigerator broke uh, about a couple months ago and in the freezer we had like ice cubes that were half wet and half cold. But probably if you've ever seen the show Bar Rescue, um, at the bottom of an ice machine, like ice that's not good, that's like starting to collect mold. It, it kind of tastes like dirty water. It, like as if, hmm, as if like as a kid, when you go outside and you eat an icicle, the roasted turkey tastes like dirty ice cube water with a hint of day-old coffee uh, from my wife's airtight mug. Overall, uh, you know what? Not a bad way to start off this Thanksgiving dinner. Okay, you know what? We're done. We're good. We're good with the roast turkey. We're good. That's too much for me. Cheers. There's absolutely no carbonation in that Crystal Pepsi whatsoever. As we're about to have some Brock's Thanksgiving stuffing, but I made it uh, two ways. One, corn on the cob, and then uh, stuffing a la carrot. So uh, honestly, like I have no idea what to expect. The, the corn mold actually looks pretty cool, as you can see right there. So you know what? I can't believe somehow, some way, I'm eating candy corn stuffing a la corn on the cob right now, as I say. I have no idea what this is going to taste like. Cheers. Oh my God. Okay, you know what? An immediate, ooh. An immediate taste of burnt, uh, like a burnt flavoring. Like if you've burnt anything in your life, just food-wise, burnt. Oh my god. Okay, uh, the stuffing tastes like uh, what I would imagine the inside of an old suitcase filled with wool sweaters would taste like. Whoa. Uh, let's try the carrots. Let's see if the carrots uh, are any better. Oh my god, I can't. This, it's like rock solid. Whoa. 
the interesting thing was when I melted down uh, the stuffing, it actually looked like peanut butter. Uh, but if I take a couple more <laughs> bites off the corn on the cob, uh, all the stuffing, I'll give you an overall conclusion of my thoughts about this specific uh, flavor. Obviously, <laughs> this stuffing flavor uh, it doesn't taste like stuffing whatsoever. It doesn't taste like corn and or carrots. It's like uh, a very distinctive foulness. We, uh, we have stink bugs that try and get in the house during the winter time. And I, I would imagine it just popping a stink bug in your mouth and like chewing down and it's just like eating skunk juice almost. Not bad. We had some roast turkey um, and we've had some stuffing, a la corn on the cob and carrot. Just to start off this meal. Not bad, not bad, not bad. Okay, now the next two courses on the menu include a cylinder of cranberry sauce, flavored candy corns, and then also for the green beans, means, greens, beans, tomatoes, shout out to the you name it lady. So you know what, let's start off with the green beans. Shout out to the green bean lady, cheers. Interesting. Well, A, it does not taste like green beans whatsoever. Hmm. It's very chewy. Uh, it, okay, the thing that comes to my mind, uh, it's like eating raw dough, like a pizza dough or like a Pillsbury Crescent dough. It's like I'm eating dough. If I, just, if I say the word dough one more time, I'm gonna kick my ass. Whoa. <clears throat> okay, you know what? I had a piece of green bean candy corn stuck in my throat there. I'm gonna take one more bite and give me my final assessment on the green beans. Uh, I have once consumed uh, Play-Doh. Uh, and Play-Doh to me, it's like, um, it's kind of like what, what I'm tasting right now, but Play-Doh is very salty as well. Um, so these candy corn green beans, it's, it's like a Play-Doh, but like without the salt uh, is, is what I taste. I got beans, 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 tomatoes. Okay, it finishes. Now what I try to do for the cranberry sauce I purchased a candle mold. Now to try and like, uh, when they dump cranberry sauce out of a can, um, cheers to this one. Hmm. hmm. Whoa. There's actually, whoa, uh, the, the very initial first flavor taste profile that I'm getting, now it brings me right into my aunt and uncle's bathroom at Christmas time. It, it kind of has like a, like a holiday spice. I'm chewing on it. It kind of has like a holiday spice potpourri uh, for my aunt and uncle's bathroom at Christmas time. So you know what, this, this, it unlocked a great memory that I have of my aunt and uncle. Okay. When I actually take a sip of the Crystal Pepsi, it kind of like, it turns it into like a lollipop. Uh, so we can like swallow it down a lot easier. That's what she said. All right. I would say overall, um, the cranberry sauce, it does have like an initial holiday spice potpourri flavor to it, but it finishes as if you're eating a cherry Luden's cough drop. If you've never had Luden's cough drops, uh, you could just buy those and eat them like candy. They used to come in a little box. Um, so definitely dominant cherry Luden cough drop flavor. 
uh, with a chalky, it's like a chalky finish because um, I'm eating melted down candy corn that's six months expired. Not bad. The, the green beans taste like Play-Doh and the cranberry sauce tastes like- I'm sweating. Now for the first part of our dessert course, I have made apple pie candy corn transformed into a red apple and a Granny Smith apple. You know what, I don't know the different kinds of apples. No, because you know what, uh, there's nothing more whatever than apple pie, whatever the saying is. So you know what, uh, here's the red apple. Cheers, uh, here's my Thanksgiving Day dessert. I hope I bake these long enough to where I'm not biting into a rock. Whoa, that's actually pretty cool. It looks like I just bit into an apple. Whoa. Huh. Sweetness. Wow. Okay. Whoa. Fair enough. I feel like I was just transported into a grandmother's kitchen, uh, like down south for some, for some like good old uh, grandma's country baking, I guess you can say. My, fa my favorite thing so far from this pack of candy corn is the apple pie flavor. Whoa. Okay. Uh, and is this like a sour candy apple? Absolutely not. I just used food coloring. Mm. No, but I'm getting hints of like an apple cinnamon. It's as if I was eating apple cinnamon Cheerios. Uh, which, I, again, you know what? I love regular Cheerios, but the apple cinnamon flavor, spot on uh, for these two apple pie flavored apples, Thanksgiving candy corns. Amazing. Okay, cool. Awesome. Now, when it comes to Thanksgiving, and when your family members bring pies to the Thanksgiving dinner, my favorite pie has always been pumpkin. I took Jelly Belly pumpkin pie flavored jelly beans and I melted them down. Now, and during the melting process, now, it smelled like the insides of a fresh pumpkin as if I was like carving it for Halloween. Uh, so the smell was definitely there in, in a positive way. But also as I was melting it down, it kind of looked like sweaty cheese. Uh, so you know what? Uh, I have no idea what this pumpkin pie is going to taste like. And if I don't eat it, Pretty soon, this, okay, it's it's definitely solidified. Ladies and gentlemen, uh, LAB's pumpkin pie, jelly bean flavor. Hmm. Hmm. Whoa. Hundred hundred percent tastes like pumpkin pie, straight up. It's got that little hint of cinnamon in there. Uh, all I need on this plate uh, is like a scoop of vanilla ice cream uh, from the Nepali at Don. They're like, whatever the, it's like vanilla chocolate strawberry. I just need a scoop of ice cream. Okay, okay it's like stuck in my teeth. It feels like I'm eating a piece of pumpkin. Definitely feels like I'm eating a piece of pumpkin pie, but uh, it just like solidified. I just got this on my favorite hat. Okay, you know what? Um, I'm definitely going to take a nice taste uh, of the sweet coffee crumble crust that I made from the coffee uh, candy corn with the pumpkin pie. Hmm. The, the coffee flavored crust actually adds just a nice delicate touch. It's a uh, like a medium dark roasted coffee as if I walked in and bought one from a Starbucks on a cold winter's day mixed with that pumpkin pie a slight spice flavor of the jelly beans whoa overall uh, if this piece of pumpkin pie uh, that I that I made out of Jelly Belly jelly beans 
that wasn't so solidified as you're chewing it, I would take down I would take down the entire slice. And I actually used like three small little tiny bags of the pumpkin pie jelly beans. And I did the calculations. Uh, minus the, the coffee crust, this is a 1,155 calorie piece of pumpkin pie. And finally, as we end off this 2022 LA Beast Thanksgiving candy corn dinner, even though this isn't candy corn, this is actually uh, eggnog flavored jelly bean. And somehow, some way, I came up. Okay, it's very sticky. I came up with this disgusting, sticky eggnog looking egg. Now, so, I guess, you know what? Just like Clark Griswold from a Christmas vacation wolfed down some eggnog. Cheers to Clark W. Griswold. It's very sticky and it's very squishy and I'm not the biggest fan of squishy things. Now, but you know what? If I had to survive on squishy foods, could I do it? Absolutely. Cheers. Oh. Mm. The texture, it's, it's stuck in my mouth. Now the texture is actually like a Rice Krispie treat. Fair enough. I would definitely say that when it comes to Jelly Belly, jelly beans are pretty spot on with the flavor. Um, and to me, uh, back in 2004 with my good friend Bruce Moose, uh, we had a bad experience like chugging down eggnog. Now there is like a, a cinnamon type undertone uh, to it. If you've never had eggnog, you gotta like, it's a distinct taste. Hundred percent, I'm eating eggnog. So, now, you know what? Now, as I'm about to go into a trip to fan candy corn hell right now, I would like to say that the one thing that I'm actually grateful for is each and every single one of you uh, for continuing to tune in. So, thank you. You inspire me to keep on uh, wanting to create YouTube videos. I appreciate you. Happy Thanksgiving if you celebrate Thanksgiving. Happy holiday season that's upcoming. I appreciate y'all. I just said the word y'all, even though I don't really use the word y'all ever. Appreciate y'all. Cheers. And happy Thanksgiving. And you know what? Uh... I'm the LA Beast. Did, did I just spit out my eggnog jelly beans into a corn on the cob mold that looks like the fat example from gym class in high school? You're darn right I did. Happy Thanksgiving. Stay safe. Much love from mine to yours. LA Beast. Have a good day. I'm cool. Have a good day. Ugh. I think we're good. I think we are good on we don't need these. To everybody who does enjoy holiday flavored stuff. Good. I think for me, I think I'm good to go, so have a good day.